Tracy Davis. I'm the Area Superintendent for Innovation and Choice in Grand Prairie, and I appreciate the opportunity to come before you today with Deborah Bigham, the Chief Development Officer for Edwards Education. We're here to share information about Education Energized, which is the partnership between Grand Prairie ISD and Edwards Education. The model is grounded in the belief that families should have a choice and a voice in their child's educational experience. Many of our families do choose a traditional neighborhood school experience, but during the last seven years, Grand Prairie has worked to expand the portfolio of options available for our families to choose from. <coughs> We've expanded to 19 schools of choice and 13 programs of choice with a variety of specialties from fine arts, STEAM, STEM, leadership, languages, and our in-district charters such as our Grand Prairie Collegiate Institute and our School for the Highly Gifted. So in 2014, Dr. Susan Hall, the Grand Prairie Superintendent, and Yasmin Bakia, CEO of Uplift, began the partnership to offer another exciting opportunity for our community to access a high-performing public charter school within one of our campuses. So we've successfully completed the first year of school with Lee Elementary and Uplift Lee preparatory staff, students, and parents working together for the success of the Grand Prairie community. We are currently implementing the second phase of the partnership with the implementation of a pilot of the Uplift Road to College model in one of our high schools. While planning the third phase of the partnership, which will involve Grand Prairie ISD delivering our pre-kindergarten model to Uplift students. So we've seen that the power of choice is amazing for families and have seen that when high performing charters and independent school districts partner together, the opportunities are limitless. We would urge this committee to continue focusing on making policy that promotes innovation and choice opportunities for our Texas students. Um, this, this is uh, something that I'm really interested in, okay. is the cooperation between traditional ISDs and, uh, you know, and basically uh, providers of, of great service. Okay? Or, uh, whether they're they were originally charter schools on their own, et cetera. So, this how long has this partnership been uh, been working now? We've been planning for. We started in 2014, so for two years. Our first year was a planning year, and then this past year we opened with 120 students in Uplift Lee, uh, partnering with our Grand Prairie Lee students under the same uh, under the same roof in the same building sharing services, sharing counseling, nurse, uh, of course, uh, infrastructure, the building, the uh, electricity, that sort of thing. So. Right now, the, so this was an existing elementary or, or a school that was didn't have full capacity, it had capacity for it to be Right, we were very fortunate in that we, it was an existing middle school that we had transformed to an elementary campus, so there was plenty of rain, so we are able to Coexist. Um, and because they obviously don't get a facilities component on their side, but you got excess capacity in facilities. So, so that's where the uh, the partnership got formed. Yes, and uh, Dr. Hall and Ms. Batia are. Uh, it's an exciting adventure that we've gone on together. So yes, it was about the facility and about wanting to do something innovative. Right, don't we have one in Spring Branch? Right, okay. and Aldine. Right, and Aldine, are, the, are you all the three pioneers then across the state, or do we know of more? Okay. <coughs> and, um, when you have this type of partnership, the, the Uplift folks are bringing in what they have as best practices. Um, and they're, it's not only for the 120 kids that are involved, but those best practices are, are also being shared with the, the the instructional folks at Grand Parrot, right? Yes, what's great about it is that I think both organizations are learning a lot from each other. We're sharing staff development. So the Uplift team this summer has gone through our Grand Prairie Math Institute. So it's it's been a real great sharing and learning experience for both sides, I believe. And what, what have you all learned already, I'm curious, between the two groups? A lot. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> One minute, two minute uh, summary, if I could indulge. Um, well, our partnership has been, um, and I'm going to say that in the Aldean and in the Spring Branch, they, they existed as there was a wing for K-12 
kept and are waiting for the traditional IS. We're waiting for yes. Yes, right, right. yes. But, but at the high school level. But with ours, we chose to have a kindergarten wing that had both uplift and Grand Prairie first ground. I mean, so we really did immerse the two together so that other than their uniforms, um, there's not a real distinguishing factor between the two. Uh, between the two, we really came together and actually had a joint PTA. And so the PTA president was uh, actually a an uplift parent. So I mean, it's it's been just a great collaboration between the two. So you've had what was almost a full integration. Yes. Okay. Now uh, the I'm pretty familiar with the Spring Branch version of this. They saw very market improvement, um, especially on the STEM side, and especially among, um, really on the core that all came through. The girls were doing extremely well on the STEM, on the STEM test as well. So what have you seen so far just in the first year? I know it's early, but I'd, I'd be curious to, to get a report on this. So we just opened K through second grade. Sorry, I'm Deborah Bigelow, I'm the Chief Development Officer for Uplift uh, so we started K through second grade, so we had no star mat, uh, star data. However, however, both of our schools took math, uh, which is a measurement of academic performance, which is a 